Alright guys, I'm standing here with Shay who has uh, come here today to enjoy a fa fantastic pizza from uh, Pizza and I believe Shay this is your second time is it? Yeah we came last week and it was delicious, we had to come back and get another one, there's no pizza like this in Perth. Unbelievable and are you a vegan yourself Shay? Yes I am. Fantastic and I guess um, as someone who's used to eating vegan food, where does this scale on the food that you've tried before? Oh it's an 11 out of 10. <laughs> 11 fantastic. out of 10. Yeah. I, I can't wait to verify that. First thing that I'm going to mention is the fact that I can't believe this is vegan. What my eyes are telling me, what my nose is telling me, and uh, the salivation that's starting to build up in my mouth, honestly belies the fact that I'm at a vegan place. Um, for those of you who know me, I'm not really one who's eaten vegan food before, um, and nor am I someone who who has ever experimented with uh, with vegan food. This is actually going to be the first time I'm trying a vegan meal and what better place to do it than here at Pisa in Victoria Park. I'm going to get uh, Alfred to run me through exactly what it is that we have here, the two pizzas that we've got set up. I believe one is a uh, Supreme and one is a Tandoori. But uh, Alfred, if you could uh, give me a rundown, mate, of uh, exactly what we're looking at here. Yeah, definitely. So let's start with the uh, Tandoori. So we um, put the tomato base on the top very first yeah. and then we put um, rose um, pumpkin and the sweet potato oh, around wow. and then on top of that we will start spraying the um, tandoori around so that's the uh, organic tempeh okay, so that's okay. marinated with uh, tandoori spice wow so uh, to finish off we put the mozzarella cheese that we make ourselves and um, once it's finished baking, we put the coconut yogurt around. So that's the white. Um, so that's a coconut yogurt, yogurt on the top there. On top. Wow. Yep. Yeah, and we put some cashew nuts as well, as yeah. well as um, yeah. So let me let yeah. me let me see if I've got this. So we've got roast pumpkin. Yeah, correct. is that correct? Um, sweet potato. Sweet potato. Yep. We've got cashew, we've got mozzarella, which is yep. your homemade cheese. Correct. Um, we've got and the organic tempeh. Organic tempeh yep. with uh, tandoori spice mixed in correct. with it. And uh, what was the coconut last one? Yogurt. The coconut yogurt. Yeah, coconut Guys, yogurt. <laughs> honestly, yeah. that, that that's unbelievable. I can't believe the amount of ingredients and the different types of ingredients and tastes and I believe textures that are going to come from a single bite of this pizza. Um, I'm going to tell you exactly what it tastes like soon, but uh, uh, yeah, if you could run me through uh, the second one as well. Yep, that one's called the Super Supreme. Uh, again, we start off with, start off with the pizza sauce on the base, and then we put a bit of cheese at the bottom. So three different types of cheese. We use our mozzarella, okay. um, the cheddar that we make ourselves as well, and um, a bit of Parmesan cheese. Wow. Yep, and then we put um, artichokes around. Yeah. Yep, and then uh, lots of uh, onions, and then uh, we put um, pineapples on top of them. Get out, really? Yeah. So it's what, what much are the pineapples doing? Are, they, are the pineapples actually on here now, or yeah, they're they? actually buried underneath the cheese <laughs> again. So um, Super Supreme is for those ones that want to try a bit of everything of the okay. pizzas that we get to offer. Ah, so, okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yes, correct. Now we have finished. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you're still, not done. There's still more in there. <laughs> Carry on, yeah. So yeah. We, see, we have our capsicum. <laughs> All the yeah. different colors in there the red, the greens, and the yellows. Yes, oh, yep. yeah, I can see that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also put our um, protein in there, which is the pepperoni and the uh, ham. They okay, taste you know, is amazing. it so? When, when you say yeah. pepperoni and ham protein, what, what do you mean by that? As someone who's not vegan, I get I get sort of uh, a bit confused when I hear words like pepperoni and ham in a vegan meal. Mm. What do you mean by, by that exactly? Um, so basically, they are made out of uh soybeans and all that stuff like that okay. um, and the pepperoni that we have right now is actually made by Rogan Co so like another local place that supplied to us fantastic yeah, it's, it's really good yeah, and it's yep. so good, guys. Um, of yep. all the places that we've been to, you can see businesses supporting businesses. It's the only way to get by in this current climate is to work together, help each other out, and uh, it's fantastic to see um, all of this actually coming together in a single plate. And I believe you guys also have your cheeses used by other businesses um, across That's across correct. the country. Yeah. Yes, correct. Um, locally and also. Um, 
yeah, in uh, Thio and Co. Oh wow, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, and, and so you've got pretty big yeah. places actually using your cheeses, right? Yes, yeah, correct, and also in Adelaide as well. And in other places, that's, that is yeah, so constantly good. getting orders from us. Guys, if if we're lucky, um, hopefully Alfred can grace us with a block of this fantastic cheese. For those of you who want to try it, I'm a cheese fanatic. Um, I've never actually had vegan cheese since the first time to taste that. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm pretty excited for you to try some out for yourself. Um, is there anything you wanted to, to add before we tuck into this uh, delightful yeah, meal? Yeah, definitely. Oh, um, back to the topping with the Super Supreme. I'm yeah. not done yet as well. <laughs> and there is still mushrooms on top. And yes. And we still have the um, ham. Oh, now wow. Season. Unreal. Yeah. And also uh, finish off with the um, olives. Oh yeah. my goodness, guys. And and honestly, um, I'm going to give you a close-up of this. It looks unreal. Um, just from a visual standpoint, I can see every single topping that he's mentioned in there. We've got the mushrooms. I can see the olives. Um, I can see the capsicum, red, green, yellow. We've got a whole lot of cheese. We've got some parmesan, the mozzarella, the cheddar. I, I can see the whole lot, guys. Even the beautiful tomato um, sauce that's gone on the base there. One final question for you, Alfred. Um, on the bases for your pizzas, what what do you use? Are these your standard bases? Do you do gluten-free bases? Um, how do you actually make the bases for your pizza? So first off, we use the most, um, yeah, so we use the most um, premium quality um, flour that we use. Oh, wow, well, okay. Yeah, okay. It's a cup to a flour. Yeah. So yeah, we hand stretch the bases ourselves as well. Okay, what, what, what is hand stretching? I mean, I've seen, seen chefs obviously rolling the pizzas, putting correct. it down, using the um, the rolling, rolling pin to, to, to actually make it. But what's a hand stretch pizza? Hand stretch is totally different. We do not use any of the equipment. So okay. we start off with um, the base, like we flatten it with our, uh, we roll into a bowl, we flatten it with our hands. Everything is wow. pretty, pretty hands on. So yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. So we stretch it um, rigorously with our hands. So make sure that it's all, um, you know, circle. And oh, the, that's unreal. Um, it's and inches. how long does it yeah. take for it to, to raise as a raise in the same amount of times a regular pizza base? Um, can you put it straight into the oven? Yeah, so uh, we do it differently. We um, bake our pizzas, so, so we par bake them first, and okay. afterwards uh, we have to um, bake them again afterwards. Oh so, my goodness! So it's yeah. a double baked pizza base, guys. Correct. Honestly, I can't tell you enough. Uh, just hearing about how the pizzas made, all the thought, the process, the ingredients that have gone into each and every one of these, I'm sure I'm going to be able to taste that with every bite. We'll give you guys a close up now, and I'll let you know how it tastes shortly. Stay tuned. A pretty guy with a halo But who am I kidding, please, now? I gotta realize that you, you, you First off, actually, I'll start with the texture. This feels like a high quality base. I haven't even bitten into it yet, but I can assess it just by feeling how nice, firm, but soft and crunchy the crust is. The underneath has been put to absolute perfection. It's firm, but again, also has the same texture of the crust, where it's um, kind of, it's got that spongy sort of feel that I know when I put it in my mouth, it's gonna make my mouth feel like it's in heaven. So yeah, first bite, here we go. Oh my goodness. What I'm looking for is <laughs> the signs that this is just a veggie pizza or a vegan pizza. Um, wow, that is unbelievable. My mouth is just exploding with all the layers of the vegetables on there. Um, I'm just crunching through some onion now. Got a bit of olive, some capsicum. The cheese on top is just absolutely spectacular. Um, this is Great. It's the first time I've ever had anything like it, and um, I'm not I'm not missing the fact that there's no meat on here. Um, this is beautiful. Mm. Tomato base is just absolutely creamy. I'm getting it everywhere, guys. Mm, I just bit into some pineapple. Oh my goodness! This is unbelievable. Mm. Honestly, I would give this a solid 9.5 out of 10. I don't give anything above a 9, ever, for any reason. But this is unbelievable. Wow. I'm actually so happy to be here right now. Um, I was, uh, to be honest, I was a little bit, I guess, cautious, a little bit trepidous about trying vegan food uh, as a primarily meat-eating person. But this is enough to convert me. This is definitely enough to to, 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 to get me on my way to being a vegan. Um, I think I could do it. If, if I had things like this to eat every single day, I'd have no issues at all with being vegan. 
I've got a bottle here of the Lemmy Lemonade as well, um, which they ship over to the Loving Hut. Um, we are going to be heading over to the Loving Hut to see what the uh, fuss is all about. Um, it's actually one of the first times I've heard of Loving Hut. However, my partner has told me about Loving Hut being in Korea and I believe in a few few countries as well as um, in a few spots here in Australia. However, in Perth, uh, this is the only Loving Hut, um, I think, for the whole of WA. So pretty special to get some drinks uh, from a very niche market there. So this is the uh, Tandoori Pizza. Guys, um, I apologize for any blur. I did set up the shop before um, before we took this uh, and hopefully it's not, not interfering this time. For all of those who have seen my, my noobish moments, thank you for still watching um, but this is the tandoori pizza um, you can see bits of the whatever I'm just gonna eat it I don't care you guys know what's in this pizza what I'll get you to note is um, this is a heavy slice this slice uh, there's no skimping on the toppings here they have put the whole lot on there um, you guys know what's in there already but that is a fairly hefty slice between this slice of pizza and the bowl with the chips and gravy it's pretty similar and uh, it's not not a really small bowl oh my goodness how is that not chicken <laughs> guys this tandoori sauce the tempeh the nice mix of the tandoori spice is just absolutely fantastic it's playing a symphony in my mouth i can't actually believe this is a meatless pizza um again <laughs> for someone who doesn't eat vegan food for someone who predominantly eats meat um on a daily basis i'm astounded by how amazing this is guys i will bust the myth that you cannot enjoy vegan food um i i was once in the ranks of those who um I probably would have put down vegan food and said, yeah, yeah, called it rabbit food. Well, this is not rabbit food. I was wrong. I'm willing to accept that on camera and say to you guys, I was wrong. Vegan food is absolutely delicious, especially this pizza. Um, this is nestled in the suburbs of Victoria Park. Something else I'd like to add is the fact that I've only had two slices, right? You've seen me taste the Super Supreme. Um, I'm just wrapping up my final mouthful of the tandoori. But I'm pretty much already feeling full. This, within two slices, just absolutely unbelievable. I'll show you guys uh, what the prices are like. The price is absolutely worth it for what you're getting um, and um, taste involved. I, I wouldn't hesitate to pay um, that much for these pizzas. Uh, they're absolutely brilliant. And we're going to try and see if we can uh, get you guys a free pizza or at least put it up for a competition for you guys to come taste one. Um, also grab some of their cheese. So those of you who are vegan fans or those who want to try out some vegan products can try some of their homemade cheese. We have enjoyed an absolutely amazing meal with um, the guys here at Pizza. Lee, thank you so much for, for hosting us. Uh, it has been such an amazing experience. Um, as uh, I'll just say, as someone who's never eaten vegan food before this was the best thing to try for the first time oh, um, so that me ever eaten it. I'm it's so glad to hear absolutely it. amazing you, um, look I want to find out Lee um, what what is your role within pizza uh, yeah I think you can say I'm the founder yes here, together with um, my partner Michael and also Alfred and yes so a few of us putting our heads together wanting to make use of the kitchen site that we have so wanting to use the product that we made ourselves like yeah. the mozzarella cheese the cheddar cheeses and our parmesan cheese and because already like you and co and some other pizza places are already using our um, mozzarella cheeses so we just thought it's, it's yeah it's why not yeah such yeah. a fantastic thing you're yeah. doing here and there's no 100 <coughs> um, vegan pizza replace in uh, uh, as in dedicated uh, vegan pizza place. Yeah, so apart from your cheeses, is there anything else um, that you would like um, our, our viewers to know about pizza? Um, I think the, it's still the vegan message that we like to bring across mm -hmm. to the people. Um, like I said, I have another business and yeah. um, and the whole idea was, also, of course it's a vegan business, it's, it's called Loving Heart and the whole idea was we are really into promoting veganism and raising awareness and providing people the opportunity to know how delicious vegan food can be absolutely and so that people who are attempting to try for health reason for compassion reason for the animals for the planet reasons for whatever reason they know that they're not giving up anything and that's yeah. 
that's something I feel. I'm again using myself as an example, as 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 a person who that's primarily good. eats meat. <laughs> it's 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 always that thing that you're scared that oh, if I try Absolutely, something yeah. different, it's going to taste yes. not nice. I'm not going to enjoy yes. it. And you yes. don't want to have a diet, a, a diet, sorry, that you don't enjoy. Absolutely, that's, that's yeah, everyone wants food to enjoy. Because food is important to us, isn't it? Yeah, we all grow yes. up, and food is a social. It's a very social thing, exactly, and it's how exactly. we connect each other with each other. So that's why it's important that people do not be put off, like thinking that being vegan is just broccoli and collie and salad. Yeah, you that's know? exactly. There it. are so much variety. And, and I don't know about you guys, yeah. but I, I think that is a very common misconception about being vegan is the fact that all you're eating is nuts and seeds and 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 you know salad, and that's pretty much it. No, there's a whole lot more, and uh, we're going to be going down this rabbit hole. I want to see. How deep it goes. I mean, this is what we're out to do. We really want people to know that pizza is, is amazing, and you're not gonna, you know, you're gonna feel good about it. That's exactly you, it. Especially after eating, you know that you're not taking lives away. You're not yes. inflicting any pain on any animals. Correct. And you're saving the planet, and you feel peaceful inside, and you're and happy inside. Do you know inside. what? I yeah. think um, that's that's something I'm also gonna 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 address yeah. quickly. Is it's 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 actually quite empowering to know all those things. Um, when when I eat meat, generally I do it without much conscience but having the additional no at all implication of my meal actually gives me a sense of personal gratification satisfaction knowing that I've eaten without um, any any lives being lost so yeah. that is a big Absolutely. part of the attraction of, of veganism is, isn't yes, it and that, that is that it is yeah, in fact, yeah. This, is, this is a calling now that's that it the yes is awakening as well hundred percent yes and yes, and we yeah. need to we need to awaken with the planet as well um yeah. guys join us as we go down um, the our, our adventures in veganism we're certainly going to follow this path if you stay tuned if you're a vegan Vegan. Yes. Um, I want to say thank you for what you're doing and I apologize for my um, pre misconceived ideas or my uh, misconceptions um, about what it is to be vegan you guys are doing a great thing yeah. guys, you, yeah. there are some very yes. important lessons to be learned from this lady right here I hope you guys are taking stock um, if you are a vegan person and uh, this is something you've enjoyed please um, hit the like button hit the subscribe button uh, because we are going to be exploring this uh, a lot more guys drop your comments down below if you found any vegan places in Perth that you want us to explore. Um, I'm far more than open to the idea to going to more of these places, uh, particularly now that I know that uh, I can expect the same quality of delicious food as from anywhere else. Uh, I don't know why I would expect it any different, to be honest, but um, there we go, guys. Um, Lee, thank you so much thank for having us so at much. your establishment. Thank you for coming to and, see us, um, yes. Yeah, we're looking forward to working with you again in thank the future. Uh, guys, this has been a fantastic episode of Eating Out Down Under. My name is Neo, signing off. Thank you and stay fresh.